What's good, everybody? So today, we will be talking about the anabolic window and um, whether it is real or fake. All right, so first off, we're gonna define it. The anabolic window is something that I used to uh, tell everybody was like the most important thing. The anabolic window is a period of time, um, typically, people say 45 minutes after workout where you're supposed to consume um, a protein shake or, or eat right away right after your workout um, to further define what the anabolic window is um, we're going to talk about what anabolism versus catabolism is anabolism versus catabolism. So catabolism is the process of when your body breaks down food and it's going to happen every time you consume food. Your body breaks it down, it breaks down proteins into amino acids to be used into your, in your body and carbohydrates down into their simplest form like sugars um, which it uses to make ATP. It also breaks down fats into fatty acids um, which are also a source of energy in the body. And so catabolism produces, um, well, fuels, fuels cellular respiration, which gives energy for anabolism. And so throughout your day, you're going to have times of catabolism and times of anabolism. And so when you haven't eaten food for like four hours, um, your body goes into a fasting state and it starts going into catabolism. And the same when you work out, that is considered a catabolistic uh, event because your tearing muscle, your, it's, it's breaking down, you're essentially getting weaker when you work out. And so that's why it's important to consume food um, um, to recover and to rebuild. And so anabolism requires energy and anabolism is uh, Anabolism is what protein synthesis, which is what builds muscle. And so at the end of the day, in order to grow, in order to build muscle, in order to grow, uh, um, anabolism, anabolism must be uh, greater than catabolism. So, now back to the anabolic window. So, most studies about the anabolic window, and I'll link them in the description below, um, test um, like food before workout or food after workout, um, but oftentimes they don't test how much food, that they, they, like none of them, test how much food was eaten throughout the whole day. And so, so when it comes down to the window, if you consume 20 grams of protein in a meal right around before your workout, that's going to fuel your body with amino acids for up to two to three hours after workout. So therefore, a post-workout meal is not completely necessary within the anabolic window. You have more time because your body's still breaking down the food you ate before workout. Now if you worked out at like early in the morning, um, fasted, as in you didn't have any food beforehand until like the, the night before, that's a long time your body has gone without food. So it's in a catabolistic state and therefore after workout it is much more crucial for you to consume food as soon as possible because there isn't any food in your body already releasing amino acids which is therefore you have no fuel in your body that is fueling muscle uh, protein synthesis which is building muscle so so if you're more focused on just eating spreading your meals out throughout the day keeping them 
like two to three hours apart, you're going to keep your body um, always fueling and staying out of a catabolistic state. So, so therefore, is the anabolic window does the, is the anabolic window real or fake? Um, it's definitely more real um, if you're doing a fasted workout. But otherwise, if you've eaten before your workout, you don't need to consume a protein shake or something immediately after your workout. Um, you can, you have time. You just want to keep your body fueled throughout the day, and ultimately, at the end of the day, you just your goal is to have more anabolism than catabolism. If your goal is to build muscle, so that's that's what you got to do. And uh, shout out to Kent for filming this video. Subscribe, and uh, that's that's about it. <laughs>